And through practice and not giving up, you achieve those goals. That's what this channel is all about. Next Level Success is about reaching that next level of anything in your life and trying to better yourself in any kind of way possible. With this channel, I'm showing everyone my progression and the things I'm doing to better myself and help others financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Money is not the most important thing in life, although it does impact the most important things in life. Doing these four things for you and others with a touch of gratitude and appreciation will make you feel phenomenal. Living is giving. Don't forget, at the end of the day, you need to enjoy yourself and put time aside for family and friends. Remember, life is about enjoying it. What's up everyone? So here today I got Sean on the onto the podcast again and today we're gonna be talking about what success is and how everyone has a different opinion on success. Uh, it's gonna be a lot better than our first run because obviously our first run didn't go so good. It was the first video that we took was what we uploaded. And I purposely did that to show the progression that we did since the beginning. And uh, it should be hopefully a lot better this time. So, Sean, I brought you, guys on to, brought you onto the show again. And uh, in hope of uh, a recreation of this podcast. And I wanted to ask you what you think What's your opinion on success? Because everyone has a different opinion on it. Uh, to me, success is simply being able to enjoy the small things in life, like spending time with family and friends and making memories with fam these, these family and friends. Being able to come home and knowing I successfully put a roof over my head and my family's head when that time comes would be what I would consider success for me. But also being able to come home and enjoy my games or watch TV or any other hobbies I have and not have to worry about bills or uh, uh, other unpaid things and uh, just enjoying those things is what I consider to be success. Uh, success is whatever you want it to be. Some people want the money and the flashy things and others want to be happy with just small basic things in life. There's no wrong answer to what success is and this is my point of view on what success would be, would be for me. All right, so on that note, now I already had already kind of known this uh, me and Sean had covered this before shooting the video. I had already kind of known his opinion, but I wanted for you, everyone watching this to know his opinion on success because everyone has a different opinion on success. And I couldn't help but laugh, Sean. I could see that you were still nervous. Like I was saying before we shot this video, just make it so it's like we're having a conversation. Video is not there. So to me, success is like everyone kind of thinks that next level success is just to do with money. Now I am leaning towards the money because that is more attention grabbing and I want to know money is a big like an important factor in life right like me and Sean talk about it all the time money is freedom so next level success is about money yes and increasing your money but if you don't know how to treat it then it's not going to bring you make you any happier in life so next level success is about your well-being and all the things I do on my everyday life and the friends I have in order to have that success in my life of being happy and my well-being as long as well as my health and everything that's kind of just to do with success successes can be be a lot of different things like success to Sean as you were saying it's just like I said keeping uh, putting a roof over my head and over my family's head when the time comes being able to enjoy the hobbies that I have and not have to worry about any have any real big stresses or worry in my life and just being able to enjoy my everyday life is all I ask for specifically now, I know that we kind of like, on a more personal note, I know that we both mean you. Um, I'm going to back up probably about, like we've known for each other for a long time. I'm going to back up probably about two years. Now, two years ago, you think your opinion on success would have been the same thing? Absolutely not, no. And I think current, current uh, possessions, I guess, would prove that. Because, uh, well, even a year ago, I didn't have the same opinion at all. I was more materialistic. I liked, I had, I had, well, even a year ago, I think now I had an expensive car. I had, want, always, like, looked towards, like, having a dirt bike and a four-wheeler and things like that. And it always, it seemed like that's what would make me happy. And it did make me happy for, like, maybe a couple months, maybe. And then I realized that it's starting to drain, like, it would drain me financially. Like, it would make me feel like I... 
it's, it's just a constant stress. It's not really something to be, I can't, I'm not really happy to have. So that kind of changed my view on everything now. And I realized like for me, just the small things in life are what I'm enjoying more. That makes me happy. Just being able to spend time with the family and the friends and things like that instead of having this, all these cool materialistic things. Yeah. Cause, uh, I know like when I, me as well, like my, my opinion on not necessarily success. My my opinion on success has always been not flashy things and money. Success has been like your well-being, kind of like to do with wealth. Wealth is like uh, they talk about wealth, the difference between wealth and success. Now, wealth is for how long can a man survive for? If a man were to lose his job tomorrow, would he survive for a month or would he survive for eternity? So, wealth is enough income to provide for all your bills and your lifestyle without having to work ne technically passive income. Now, if you want to increase your lifestyle, you increase your wealth. Now, there's nothing wrong with having flashy things and nice things and all that, but only if you can afford it. Now, me and Sean, we don't come from a position where we have all kinds of money. So, it was acting more as a drain on us and how... Like I had, me myself, my opinion on all this stuff, I would rather, I was always trying to work a bunch of overtime. I saved up a bunch of money. I paid off all my bills and I have everything that I own paid for. And I was always trying to buy more. And like I had two skidoos, I had a dirt bike, I had a road bike, I had my truck, my car, and uh, along with like all the things that comes with owning a house. But I realized that it was more of a stress owning all these things because you can't drive them as they're sitting there parked in your shed it's rusting away and then when you go to take it out you're so worried because you haven't started it started it up in so long you're worried about it like letting go on you and then the whole time while you're driving it you're concerned about maintenance and all that and while you're out like say dirt biking you're spending a bunch of money on things now my opinion on that is why own all those things and have that stress of it always letting go on you while you're driving it. Instead, when you can spend 40 bucks, the same amount of money you spent on gas, to go and make a memory with close friends. And, you know what I mean? Close family and friends, like people that are around you. So. And that kind of what falls in under what I believe would be success thing. Yeah, because me and... I don't mean cut you off, but yeah, me and you have been talking about like this for a while and I know since I started talking about this I've sold a lot of different things and now I'm starting to focus more toward like um, kind of improving my future and like I know Sean Sean as well has been like focusing more towards dreams and goals and we don't really care if they turn into something but if they do I'll be happy not to do giveaways like handouts because I don't want a free meal ticket for people to just think I'm handing it out but I'd like to really have this turn into something, next level success, as well as like achieving that next level success in finance, so that way I can change everyone, the life of everyone that's around me, including you. Like, I've been a close friend, would like to make things happen for you, but that's success is just working towards your goals for me and uh, being happy in life and. Like you were saying, kind of having like a roof over your head, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, because I mean, there's always different types of success too. Whether the emotional success, the financial, and so on and so forth, and like it's all important. They're all important. I went more with the emotional success thing, I guess, and kind of financial, but um, uh, I forget where I was going. Yeah, no problem. And like, it's kind of like this channel's really broad now. Like me and Sean have been talking and. Uh, I plan, I'm already, like, always thinking about where I'm going with this channel, stuff like that. And like I've said, it's a progression. I know, definitely know where I'm going now, but for you guys watching, you guys don't really know exactly where I'm going and what this channel is about. Some people, as Sean has told me, it's kind of half good, half bad. Some people think, well, who does he think he is, right? Because I'm trying to get financial advice when I got ne not necessarily nothing to show for. Now, I respond to those critics in a way where I understand where they're coming from. But next level success success is not about that. It's about trying to better yourself in every kind of way and trying to achieve that next level of success. Now I'm not and by far in any kind of way successful in when it comes to financial, but I'm twenty three and I've have I have a decent amount to show for myself. Enough money put away that if the right real estate property pops up, I can have enough money for a down payment. So uh, 
I guess I'm just bringing this stuff up because, like I've said, I'm leaning towards that financial kind of success because it's more attention grabbing. But all this doesn't make me any happier because before, before you knew, before like I kind of started going on this journey, wasn't really. I was more focusing on just owning things, really. More materialistic. Yeah, more materialistic. Since then, I've sold all the things to do with materialist materials and more now enjoying memories and stuff like that what makes me happy is like enjoying time with friends and stuff like that which is going to be hopefully another playlist i'm going to make all the things i do on my everyday life hanging out with my friends to make the entertainment i have to make me happy and enjoy my life and be happy with where i am right now now sean we were talking also on um Kind of like with your, like your uh, streaming channel. Now, I don't know. How can I say this? Now you're not looking for anything out of that in in the future. Uh, but well. your goals are to hopefully turn it into something where you can enjoy enjoy doing it for the rest of your life. Well, basically making some kind of income off it. I'm not looking to make the the big big numbers, if you will, or a big amount of money. I just want to be able to stream like daily and enjoy the games I play, and be able to make a living off of those those game streaming those games or recording those games. That's all I'm really looking for from it personally. But I also enjoy it as a hobby in general. It's not necessarily something I went into like, okay, I'm gonna make money off this. It's not the case at all. I enjoy it very much so just doing it on my own time and just doing it as a hobby. But that is something I'd like to see come out of it. Well, the reason why I brought it up is because success think people think that success is just someone that hit it big, like they think almost like Hollywood. But what we're talking about right now, success doesn't mean that in our point of view, or our opinion. I'm going to be bringing a lot of different people and asking their opinion on success. But the reason why I brought that up is because... You just want to be able to get by with passive income, doing the stuff that you enjoy just to get by in life. And that's all you ask for. it, And that would be technically being successful, which is the definition definition of wealthy, technically. You have enough income coming in to provide for your lifestyle. And that's what you're looking for. So I didn't want to like make it so it's kind of uh, deceiving with what this channel is. Um, next level success is very broad, but as I put more vo videos out there, you guys are going to see exactly what next level success is about and if you guys don't know you guys are looking for more specific content go on my youtube channel and uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button but you'll see different playlists that are more categorized for maybe what you're looking for so um i did most of the talking sean what would you like to also add in is there anything you'd like to add in on maybe what my channel is about next level success is about or um what you're going for, maybe advertise your channel. <laughs> advertise, sorry. Not advertise, but for the people seeing this, you guys will see that Sean's working towards his own kind of success. And if you guys haven't already checked it out, it's Mr. Mr. Walker 95. So M R underscore Walker, W A L K E R underscore 95. Check him out on Facebook or on YouTube, and. Uh, Help and, Sean achieve and, um, his Twitch as well. Yeah, and Twitch. See, I didn't think of Twitch because I that's not a platform I work with. But yeah. he's also on Twitch. So, I want to help Sean uh, achieve his way, his opinion on success. Now, I that's about everything I had to say today. That's yeah. I don't have much else to say myself. Yeah. But, so we're. Uh, thanks for having me on the show, and uh, look forward to collaborating with you again some more. Yeah, and uh, for future, like I know this is, I want to bring Sean on to the second podcast because I felt it was only right after seeing the first one. The first one I felt like wasn't fair towards Sean because he was not ready for that at all. So now he's a little bit more prepared and he's getting a little bit more used to the camera. And obviously I'm getting really used to the camera. So uh, thanks for uh, watching and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.